Hello, today is Friday, October 20th, and welcome to Vlogtober Day 20. Yes! All right, everyone, how are we doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm still going through it. My mom said when I first got sick, my coloring was like a white slash gray. And now she said some pink is coming back into my face, which is nice, but I feel like all of the mucus that was kind of forming and trapped is now getting out, which is good, but it's not fun. I did all my sick girl things. I still am going to drink some tea, but look what came in the mail. It's a box. And I was like, I don't know what this is. Then I was like, mm, I don't know. I have a feeling I know who it's from, but I don't know what it is. And right at the top of the video, we are going to do our daily Haley shout out. <laughs> she sent me a whole box of goodies that I'm now just looking at. Oh my gosh, okay. Here's the card. Look at how cute. A cutie drawing. Multiple cute drawings. To Kimmy and family. Trick or treat. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited I dropped the card. Happy Halloween. This is cute. Oh my gosh. A boo basket. Eee, I'm so excited. Wait, I have to read it, but I feel like reading it out loud is too personal. So. Haley also calls me Human Kimberly. It's from a show called Cat Scratch that I do not remember watching. But funnily enough, when I would watch Cartoon Network for or Nickelodeon for SpongeBob or Fa Fairly Odd Parents, I remember a very specific commercial with the animator who would draw the cats from Cat Scratch. And I remember watching the person draw the cats and the way that they did their the top of their head with their ears was so satisfying to watch. Maybe I should find that commercial. But once Haley explained to me why she started calling me Human Kimberly, and she said Cat Scratch, and then she showed me the pictures, I was like, oh, I have this very specific memory of watching a commercial of them drawing the cats. Anyway, she calls me Human Kimberly from Cat Scratch. Look at she draw us as ghosties, obviously. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she signed so many names. She basically has her own little family, which is crazy because she has the cutest three dogs ever. Haley, Mike, Biscuit, Maple, and Reuben. The cutest. Oh my gosh. Where do I start? <gasps> sock tour. Crew socks. Okay, she knows that an ankle sock is not my girl anymore. Haley, I love them. Thank you so much. I will wear them as soon as possible. Oh my gosh. <gasps> A little Pez. Well, here, here's the boo basket, did she call it? Boo basket, yes. And I remember growing up, we would do like around our neighborhood, like getting booed or I forget what it was, but you would like print out the little ghost and then choose a neighbor and then give them a little boo basket or I think it was just like a little thing of candy but oh my gosh my childhood oh my gosh oh there's so many stickers Haley uh, these are so many cute stickers where did oh my gosh they're all hocus pocus are you kidding oh my gosh I feel like I have to show each one I will share, obviously, with Liz and Jill. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, wait. I Hold on, everyone. Relax. Okay. That was... Okay. This is the basket, and I got distracted with the stickers. But next to the basket were the socks. And this cutie Pez dispenser. And I know... Haley's dad collects Pez dispensers and literally every time I'm out and I see a Pez dispenser, I'm like, Mr. Melvin probably has that. But every time I see a Pez dispenser, I think of Haley and Haley's dad. So, delicious with the cutie bats. Haley, I hope it's okay I'm showing all of this. I'm just so excited. Oh, I've never seen this before. Reese's popcorn. Also, all of this came got here like without a scrape or a scratch. This is kind of impressive. Reese's popcorn. Wow. 
I love a sweet popcorn. My favorite kind of popcorn is kettle corn and caramel corn. So this is delicious. This looks delicious. Stickers. Cute boo stickers. Oh my God, or cute ghost stickers, I'm sorry. I love them. These stickers kind of went everywhere. Oh my goodness. In the card, Haley said that Mike picked this out. Thank you, Mike. I love it. <gasps> With little ghosty. And the handle, the detail. Thank you. I will use it for my baking. And I like when, yes, I love when Wilton makes some good stuff. And I love when spatulas have the removable top so you can clean it better. Yes, it's perfect. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, now the boo basket. Okay, so we'll do the stickers first. Haley, this is so much. Oh, oh, I'm looking ahead. Okay, look at all these stickers. Oh my gosh. This one is probably up there with my favorite. They look adorable. They kind of look like Barbies. How, um, like an animated Barbie would be. Banks. Thackeray Banks. Twist the bones and bend the back. Oh, I do like the um, crystal ball. Gorge. Hocus Pocus. Oh my gosh. I love them. Oh, she's cutie. Love her. <gasps> this one's cute with the pumpkin. Jill and I will have to decide. Liz doesn't really collect stickers. If she gets a sticker like in the mail with like a package, she usually gives it to one of us, but I'm sure she would love to see these. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this girl. So cute. Ooh, I haven't never seen a sticker like this with I put a spell on you in her hair, in Winnie's hair. That's so clever. I love it. Oh my God, this one. <clears throat> so cutie. Ooh, I love a silhouette. Oh my God, again, this one's cool with the dress. So cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, how are all of these cuter than the next? Look at these girls. <gasps> God, <laughs> she's adorable. Squad goals. Conjuring a bunch of hocus pocus. Oh no, they all just fell. Oh my God, they're so amazing. And then the last one I'll show you are their modes of transportation. I love them all, oh my God. I don't have enough room in my sticker book for all of these so i don't know what i'm gonna do get another sticker book <laughs> oh my god thank you Haley. i love them what are these Ooh, halloween picks for cupcakes these are perfect <gasps> i'll put them in the top of the spook cakes Haley, you are really thinking ahead girl because we usually don't decorate the spook cakes which are in orange cake mix with a batter that is cream cheese and chocolate chips and then we don't ice them because the inside is the like the filling is the icing basically but now we can stick these in them and I can if I ever decorate a Halloweeny cake oh my gosh and a little ghosty yes oh my god perfect okay well I know how we're decorating the spook cakes now thank you so much Ooh, little pumpkin tea light candles because you know Jill has little tea light um, candle holders. What are those called? They're called something. <gasps> These are so cute and perfect. Do they have a smell? Usually tea lights don't. I need to open them and smell them. I My nose, I can't smell anything. Oh, I need to open them. Scissors. Let's see. Look at how cute they are. They're so cute. No, they don't smell because tea lights don't smell. I was just double checking, but 
they're so cute. I don't think Jill will want to burn them, or I don't want to burn them, they're just too cute. <gasps> I love it. Thank you, Haley. I love them. Ooh, oh, he's cute. Hello. <laughs> what a cute little guy. I will put him on my bookshelf. Oh, and then she knows. She knows my favorite candies. Favorite candies basically involve anything with chocolate, but she knows my go-to our M&Ms, thank you Haley. And along with the normal, just regular milk chocolate ones, she knows I love a peanut butter M&M. Oh, Haley, you're too much. Thank you so much. This is the cutest thing ever. Thank you, I love you. I wish we could. I could give you a hug, so here's your hug. <laughs> I don't know. Yay, now I get to show Jill. She doesn't even know anything came. No, she does know. We did we did call. She she's out on the town today. But yay, I can't wait to show her. Oh my gosh, what a great idea. Oh, she did it so cute. Oh, I love her little drawings. Happy Halloween. Oh wow, I like I like the spatula. It's the first thing I noticed. Oh, Darling, we missed you too, Haley. Yes, <laughs> yes, ghosties. <laughs> oh, she draws so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at all these goodies. Look at the tea lights. <gasps> these first. are darling. Ghosts have become very popular. Oh, I like the one holding the pumpkin. Look at the little jar of spooks, uh, spooky eyes. Oh, these are little toppers for cupcakes. Oh, that'll be nice. We'll do the uh, spook cakes with mm -hmm. them. I saw Hostess does something very similar to what we do. They call them scary cakes. Yeah. Look at this cute little basket. Or, oh, darling. Which way to the candy? <laughs> we could use it for trick or treat. Because remember, I was going to divide our so candies first up. First, there's this girl. Oh, I love a little one. Oh. You know, you know, we wanted to start a collection of those, remember? <gasps> stickers, stickers, stickers! I'm gonna go off here, I'll show you the cute girl ones. Oh yeah, these are cool. All the whole, oh, I love her. <laughs> these are, one is cuter than the next. Oh, I like the black cat. I like this, one. yeah, that's a good one. Oh, there they are, the Sanderson sisters. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Look at this. Oh, Jacko socks. So cute. And I like the blue. Oh, oh she knows these are my favorite. Yeah, I, I don't know if I've seen this. Ghouls mix with the fun colors. colors. Yeah. Oh, how cute. And then Mike picks this one out and look at the way it comes apart. Mm -hmm. Cause I wanna get it. This is cute. Mike has good taste. He now has a good spatula. It's fun to collect. Oh, the little baddie. That's cute. I like his little cute face. Collect them all. Oh, vampire, jack-o'-lantern, pumpkin, ghost, bat, and witch. That's the cutest. They're so oh, cute. I've never seen that. No, I love. No, I love this little boo or Halloween thing. Very cute. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, this stuff is addicting. Oh, we got good friends. Oh, very cool. What a great idea. Makes me want to do something like this for Aunt Jen. Uh -huh. Fun, fun, fun. Halloween's the best. Love you, Haley. <laughs> so thank you, Haley. I love everything so much. You're literally the best. I love you so much. Mom actually got back from adventuring and she got me this little sticker and a mini pumpkin spice candle, which I've been wanting a pumpkin candle this whole month. Yay. And I'm going to put all of that candy and everything in my comfort drawer. So yay, a fully stocked comfort drawer. My mom loves Halloween and she decorates the house like 
crazy and beautiful and she has pumpkins everywhere downstairs and on our mantle she wanted some fun festive lights to kind of complete the mantle and so she ordered these fall lights right cute she has two separate like lengths of them and they're battery operated but they all came kind of wrinkled and scrunched together so she asked me do you think she could iron them and I said yes but our iron isn't very like precise and I said you probably would be better off using a hair straightener and so she started doing it yesterday before we left for Jacko World and she never finished and so they've just been hanging in my room for the day and I thought I'll just finish them for her and I am keeping my hair straightener on my ironing blanket and it came with a little ironing iron protective silicone thing so that's perfect because i don't have any heat protective pad for my hair straighteners or curlers which i probably should get at some point but yeah i understand you probably can't see me doing this but this is what i'm doing today flat ironing mom's fall lights i'm on the lowest setting and if anything starts to smell strange or burn, I'm gonna call it. And I'm ironing so I can see the actual light. Like I'm ironing it on the underside where the light is. It looks like it's basically just glued on these leaves. But when she put them up on the mantle and the leaves were all scrunched, she kind of decided that she needed to fix the leaves, which I get. They're on a walk right now, so I was just gonna try and do this quick. I don't know how long this is gonna take me. I think she got kind of far. I was just kind of going over what she already did. They don't have to be perfect because they're gonna end up in a fall box at the end of the season. So if we just get them straight enough that you can see what they are, I think that's, that's a good uh, goal to have. Okay, these are all pretty straight. I've seen people straight iron things that aren't hair before. I don't remember how I first saw it. Maybe like a page in a book or something. I don't remember. Or like like clothes. Because it's basically the same idea. And with this one, you're getting it from both sides. And I haven't used my straightener in a very long time. When I like actually do my hair for an event, I usually like do my little beach waver. And originally, I thought... The more little waves in the device, the appliance or whatever, meant the bigger curls. It's the opposite. So the first time I got like a crimper basically, it has like five little hills in it and I haven't used it since. It's very 90s. It's cute, but I like a looser beachy wave. Okay, I am going to try and zoom through these while finishing up some podcasts. Right now I'm on this week's psychobabble and I have a bunch to catch up on so I'll see you when these are all done all right they're all done nice and straight Gorgeous, gorgeous, and then they will go up here. Beautiful. Okay, next up, we are going to clean our hairbrushes because it's been on my list since the summer, basically, and I need to clean them, and I feel like every time I use my hairbrush, my hair just gets dirtier and dirtier. So, we're gonna clean them. Okay, so I looked up how to clean your hairbrushes, and the first thing that came up was a good housekeeping article, and it says, first to clean all the hair out of your hairbrushes, which I just did. And then we are going to fill up a container or your sink with warm water and your regular shampoo or two tablespoons of baking soda. So I'm not gonna use my regular shampoo because it's expensive and I don't wanna waste it. So it's not that expensive, but I just don't wanna waste it on cleaning my hairbrushes. So we're just gonna use a random shampoo and we are going to fill up containers with warm water. I'm gonna do my brushes and mom's brushes and our combs.
Okay, next we're gonna put some shampoo in, mix it up, and then put the brushes in. Hmm, they're not all fitting. Uh, what are we gonna do? Okay. So we're just gonna fill it up a little bit more with water. Oh girl, I don't know what to do. Actually, you know what? I'm I have it on a towel in my on my desk, but I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of my bathtub and fill it all the way up with warm water. Let's do that. Okay, this is the situation. They were floating with their bristles up, so I just turned them off so they're actually getting cleaned. And then we wait 15 minutes. Now we are going to take a little toothbrush and scrub in between the bristles to get off all that stuff. Cause look, it's it's like kind of like lifted up off of the bristles, but now you have to actually like get it off when oh, there's some hair still in there. But yeah. It looks pretty clean, but just to get the rest off, we're just gonna scrub. Okay, I was being kind of precious with it, but the best course of action is just to go for it. The bristles are strong enough that you won't break them as of right now. I was trying to like go in between, like gently. No, you just gotta do this. That looks beautiful. Wow, good as new, honestly. Now hopefully when I use them, they won't make my hair oily fast, which was the problem before. Hey, okay, next one. Here, we'll do this one, this one's easy. I genuinely don't use a comb that often, but it's very nice to have when you do need it. Looks good. Okay, now we're going to rinse them. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna shake them out over the bathtub and then lay them out to dry on my desk on a towel. They all look like brand new. I'm obsessed, okay. We are gonna lay them face down so they dry. And the Good Housekeeping article I re read said it's gonna take like a whole day for them to dry. So I won't be brushing my hair for a day, but that's okay. I got clean brushes. Well done, everyone. Good job, 10 out of 10. Good job, queens. You're really doing it. Thank you for your service. Okay, everyone, it's a little bit later. Did we watch anything? We watched Loki. It was good. It was way less confusing than last time. Train's going. Oh, my earrings today. Very, very cute. Still coughing, still blowing my nose. What are you gonna do? That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Day 20, tomorrow, day 21. Hope you had a good day, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, good night.